Here we have a situation where we've got these two flasks. Uh, the one on the left here contains helium and the one on the right contains argon. And they're um, kind of separated by what we call a stopcock. And we're going to open that stopcock and you're going to get mixing. So helium is going to go this way and argon is going to go this way. What we want to know is the total pressure after mixing but we'll have helium over here and argon over here, and we'll have mixing. So one thing we want to remember is that the P total, and this is going to be after mixing, is going to equal the pressure of helium plus the pressure of argon after mixing. Okay, The pressure will be uniform throughout. Gases always fill their container. So what we really need to figure out is what's the pressure of helium after they're mixed? We know what it is before, so this is, both of these represent before mixing. And so we want to figure out what they would be after. We're going to use Boyle's Law, which says that V1, P1 equals V2, P2. Okay? So here I have um, helium initially. So I know that the volume of helium initial times the pressure of helium initial is going to equal, because it's the same gas, we're not changing the number of moles, we're not changing the temperature, that's going to equal, I'll put initial here, the volume of helium final times the pressure of helium final. Again, the pressure of helium should go down because the volume is going to go up. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this. Um, if I want to look at the initial volume of helium, that's going to be 1.25 liters of helium, right? Times, well, what's my pressure? My pressure is through 0 0.300 atmospheres, but my problem is over here it's in Tor. So um, what I really want to do is change uh, this to Tor. So I'm just going to say that 760 Tor I'm just going to change it all in this one problem all together, okay? So that's going to be my pressure right here. That's going to equal um, my, my pressure of helium final. That's what I'm looking for. That's this guy. Times the new volume. So remember, helium's going to spread evenly throughout. So that's going to be my new volume which is 1.25 liters plus 2.50 liters, okay? So um, that's going to total 3.75 liters. So when we calculate all of this, the pressure of helium final is going to equal 76.0 torr. Um, and that's going to be what goes right up here. So this is going to be 76.0 torr. Now we're going to do the same thing for argon. So let's move this up a little bit. Um, we know that the volume of argon initial times the pressure of argon initial equals the volume of argon final. That's going to be my same, right? 3.75, because now argon's coming over to this side and filling the whole thing, times the pressure of argon final. Okay, so we're solving for the final pressure, and then we'll add it together with helium. Okay, now the, the initial volume of argon is 2.50. 
The pressure um, is already given in TOR, so that's going to be 233 TOR. And that's going to equal my new volume, which is 3.75 liters. Remember, gases always fill their container, times the pressure of argon final. Solving for the pressure for argon final, we get 155 torr. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that up here. And so now the P total after mixing is going to be 231 torr.